So, hi, everybody. I'm going to talk about an open source project called NetZub. Um, just speak a little louder and, and more yeah. into the microphone. You can, you can actually bring it towards you. So NetZub is a framework dedicated to help you in the process of reverse engineering of communication protocols. Next slide, please. So by communication protocols, I mean every uh, interaction. A little bit too close. I mean <laughs> every interaction you can find between uh, entities, whether this entity is a binary, a library, a process, a kernel module, a device, or even a remote entity. Next slide. So there are different needs to do reverse engineering. So as, as I come from a security company, my main uh, reason to do that is to assess the robustness of um, proprietary implementation of protocols. But you, you may also want to simulate uh, traffic in order to test third-party products like IDS or firewalls. Uh, previous slide, please. You may want to analyze uh, traffic for potential information leakage, and you also may want to develop an open source version of a proper protocol implementation. Slide, please. So this is the big picture of NetZub. It's uh, in five parts. The, the first part is um, uh, to do data acquisition. So there are captors and sensors to retrieve data from network or API calls, for example. The heart of NetZub is based on grammar and vocabulary in front. And as output, you have uh, the simulation module. You can generate traffic, uh, both client and server. Uh, you have the fuzzing part, so you, you use the simulation part to, uh, and to do variation on um, data. And you can export uh, protocol inferred uh, to do um, in the, dissect, uh, in the dis dissector of Wireshark or SCAPI, for example. Slide, please. So one, one word on uh, the vo vocabulary inference. So the goal is to retrieve the message format of a uh, protocol, of each message. And um, it's based on two uh, main, two well-known algorithms in the DNA field. Um, so we have implemented those protocols. Uh, the, the other steps is, um, that uh, Net NetZop provides uh, is a field uh, type identification, the semantic identification. And w one thing which is pretty cool is that, is, is that Net NetZop is able to retrieve the file length field and its associated payload. So you can, for example, retrieve the um, TCP uh, payload but, um, above the IP payload, for example. Slide, please. One word on the grammar inference. So the, the goal is to retrieve the state machine of the protocol. Uh, it's based on two well-known algorithms also. Uh, it's an active process, so you use, um, use um, an implementation of the protocol so that you can stimulate, and you can retrieve the state and transition between states. Slide, please. So this is a um, screenshot of the interface uh, of NetZub. Slide, please. So it's licensed under the GPLv3 license. Uh, it's developed notably as part of a thesis, uh, and it's sponsored by Amosis and Superlec, which are a French company and uh, engineer school. So this, this is our website, netzub.org, uh, and we will release a um, Debian package in the next days. So. I hope you will enjoy it. Thanks.